Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and have a good day to every one of you. Now we are going to explore on thermochemistry. Thermochemistry is the part of the thermodynamics which focuses on the study of heat given off or absorbed in a chemical reaction. The reaction can either be exothermic which releases heat or energy and the other one is endothermic one that absorbs energy from surrounding to the system. The change in energy will be represented by enthalpy change or delta H. These are the subtopics for Chapter 2. 2.1 Exothermic and Endothermic Reactions 2.2 Enthalpy Change which is focused on enthalpy of combustion, formation and neutralization and 2.3 Determination of Enthalpy Change of Reaction by using Standard Enthalpy of Formation calorimetry, and Hazard's Law and Calculation. At the end of this chapter, students must be able to number 1. Differentiate and explain the characteristics of exothermic and endothermic reactions, energy profile of reactions, and activation energy concept. Number 2. Define the terms enthalpy Enthalpy of reaction, enthalpy of combustion, and enthalpy of formation. Number three, solve problems involving calculations of enthalpy change of reaction, formation, combustion, heat change in calorimetry, and Hazard's law. What is thermochemistry? Thermochemistry deals with heat released during chemical reactions or heat that has to be supplied in order for reaction to take place or in simple word thermochemistry is the study of the heat change that occur during the chemical processes energy changes in chemical reaction energy is the capacity to do works have many forms such as kinetic energy chemical electrical and many more Thermochemistry concerns itself with the relation between chemical reactions and thermal energy. Thermal energy is the energy associated with the random motion of atoms and molecules. Temperature, a measure of the thermal energy. Heat, the transfer of thermal energy between two bodies that are at different temperatures. Heat always flows from a hot object to a cool object and stops when reaching the same temperature. If the two objects are at the same temperature, no thermal energy is transferred between them. Heat of reaction is the total heat absorbed or liberated in a chemical reaction. When heat is absorbed by the system, the reaction is said to be endothermic and when heat is released from the system to surroundings, the reaction is exothermic. Exothermic reaction Exothermic reaction is a reaction in which the heat is released from the system to the surroundings and shown by a rise in temperature. The example of reactions are combustion and condensation of water. The first example is hydrogen react with oxygen to produce water molecule. In exothermic reaction, you need to put plus energy on the right side, on the product side. This is because it shows that the energy is released in the reaction. Another example is condensation of water. In order to convert the water molecule in gas form to liquid form, the system need to release the heat to surroundings. And this also shows that water vapor, which is in gas form, has more heat or energy stored in it. So, in order for the water vapor to become liquid, heat need to be released. In exothermic reaction, reaction vessels become warmer due to temperature inside reaction vessels increases. 
feel hot because it is giving heat to you. Energy of the reactants is greater than the energy of the product. Endothermic reaction is a reaction in which the heat is absorbed to the system from surroundings and shown by a decrease in temperature. Reaction vessel becomes cooler due to temperature inside reaction vessel decreases. You feel cold because it is taking heat away from you. Energy of the reactant is less than energy of the product. And this cause enthalpy change of reaction, delta H, has a positive value. Energy profile. An energy profile or energy diagram representing the energy changes that take place during a chemical reaction. Y exists represents energy content of a substance and X axis is the reaction progress. First figure shows the energy profile for exothermic reaction. As we can see, reactants contain more energy than the products. The change in energy is represented by enthalpy change, delta H. Enthalpy change can be calculated by energy stored in chemical bond of products minus energy stored in chemical bonds of the reactants. The second figure is an energy diagram for an endothermic reaction. It shows products contain greater energy than the reactants. It makes the value of delta H positive. Here is an example of question which requests us to draw an energy diagram. Let's read the question first. Chloroethane gas is formed when the reaction between ethylene and hydrogen chloride gases. The value of enthalpy change is negative 69 kJ per mole. Sketch the energy profile diagram of the above reaction. Before we draw the diagram, first we need to identify either the reaction is exothermic or endothermic by looking at the value of enthalpy change. The value given is negative 69 kJ per mole. Negative value indicates the reaction is exothermic. In exothermic reaction, energy content of reactant is greater than the, than the energy of products. So, this is how the energy profile looks like. Don't forget to include the physical states for each substance because in thermochemistry, it is necessary to state it. An activation energy, Ea. It is the minimum amount of energy of the reactant molecules required in order to form products. Unit for activation energy is kilojoule per mole. On an energy profile, the activation energy is measured from the energy of the reactant to the peak of energy profile diagram. The lower the the activation energy, the faster the reaction will proceed. Delta H, enthalpy change, is the amount of energy absorbed or released by the reaction. On the energy profile diagram, delta H is measured between the energy of the reactant and the energy of the products. This figure shows energy profile for exothermic and endothermic reactions. These plots show the change in potential energy as reactants are converted to product. Both figures have activation energy. Activation energy is required to initiate a chemical reaction. When reactant molecule collide, they form an activated complex which is a transition state. This is the transition state before they form product. The transition state is 
a highly unstable species with a potential energy. In an exothermic reaction, enthalpy change is negative because the initial energy of reactant is greater. So, it will release the energy to the product. For an endothermic reaction, enthalpy change is positive because the energy of reactant is less than the product. So, it will absorb the energy from surrounding to the system. I hope all of you now know how to differentiate between exothermic and endothermic These are several examples on exothermic and endothermic processes. Hope you can relate why such processes is said to be an exothermic or endothermic reaction. It is all because the heat is released or absorbed during the reactions. Many reactions are accompanied by changes in the heat content of the reacting system. Enthalpy H of the system is defined as the heat content of the reacting system. The unit is kilojoule per mole. Enthalpy change, delta H, for a physical process or chemical reaction is defined as the difference between the enthalpy of the products and the enthalpy of reactants occurs at constant pressure. The unit is kilojoule per mole. For any reaction, for example, A react with B and produce C plus D. Enthalpy change can be calculated by this formula. Delta H equal to the sum of enthalpy of product minus the sum of enthalpy of reactants. Thermochemical equation is a balanced chemical equation that include the physical states of all reactants and products and the enthalpy change. This is the combustion reaction of methane in combustion reaction. Heat will be released. So it is an exothermic reaction. So the enthalpy change is negative value. In this figure, it shows the conversion of water in the solid form to liquid form. It is a melting process. Melting is an endothermic reaction. Delta H will be positive indicating heat or energy is absorbed to the system. In this thermochemical equation, the physical states of water are stated, including its value of enthalpy change.